Welcome back to the show. Hey, we're talking comics here, and Carol Vandenberg is with us from LA Mood Comics and Games. Welcome to our show again. Thank you for, hey, for coming in. We, we got a lot of background about it, and now we've got the goods that you mm -hmm. brought with us. And why don't you uh, take us on a tour in front of Bonnie there, what we've got. Okay, well, um, opening on March 6th is The Watchmen, which is based on a graphic novel by Alan Moore. So I've brought some Watchmen stuff with me, um, mm -hmm. some action figures. Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to find, where is Which the, one oh, you want, Bonnie? I'm just looking, oh, this is the girl. This is okay. the, uh, well, you're what's her name? This one here, Silk Garrett's Spectre, is that yep. her name? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. And what, uh, what, what I'm sorry, I, the Watchmen is one I, I don't know. What, what's the Watchmen based um, on? Well, Watchmen is based on the graphic novel uh, by Alan Moore. It uh, takes place, it, it was written in the 80s, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's sort of about, uh, uh, parallel about the Cold War. So mm -hmm. it's a kind of a sophisticated uh, thing. It's, uh, but it, it involves superheroes. There's some, p somebody is killing the old superheroes and then they're investigating. That's the basic of okay. it. Okay. Now explain to me, because I admittedly, I don't know. Is there a buzz on this? Is this oh. going to be, this is big? Like, this where does this big. rank? Like, you'll have people there waiting for you to open type to get this? Or how would uh, Well, we've, this, like I said, it came out in 1986. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's been a popular book always. It's one of our best-selling graphic okay. novels. All right. Um, I believe I believe Time Magazine put it on their top 100 novels, wow. actually. So uh, it is very popular. He, uh, Alan Moore has gotten a lot of uh, acclaim and awards uh, for, mm -hmm. for this book. So it's been selling for a, a, a long time. Now, this is the, the comic that everybody has want, wanted made into a movie for a long time, especially mm -hmm. the fans. So it's a movie made for the fans, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna, uh, I want to see a shot on the inside of this here. I, it, the graphics, when I was in high school, there were a couple of kids that, that, did, uh, that were amazing artists, and, mm -hmm. and their thing was they wanted to have comic books. And they would do, um, or they wanted to draw for comic books, rather. And they would actually make their own comics mm -hmm. because they wanted to do it so much. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. it, the, the graphics and the, the artistry in comics is just something that can't be compared in a lot of places. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is pretty, uh, you know, standard. He's got the uh, the um, the the uh, frames, uh, mm -hmm. each little one. Whereas something like the 300, which was mm -hmm. also based on mm -hmm. on a comic book, is, is a little based different. On a comic. Excuse me. I'm just going to reach here just so we can have a look at this because 300 was was quite a big deal wasn't it yeah like exactly it's the same director open this up here for you Garrett yeah. wow. it's the same director that's doing the Watchmen movie actually. oh so, and okay. so this is a little bit different format it's not just the little squares there are right. some There's big more. rectangular yeah. ones little ones inserted is there a reason why people some people do just the little squares or the little frames and other people do different formats like this I think it's personal it's choice personal so personal what choice. they think will mm -hmm. s you know best tell their story hmm. right yeah. so and that, that's why I brought that because that's uh, like the same director and mm -hmm. other uh, comics uh, made into movies. Hellboy, The Spirit was just uh, at Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was written originally in the 40s, so mm -hmm. uh, they've had you mm -hmm. know recent updates. Sin City, another Frank Miller. Frank Miller wrote uh, mm -hmm. 300, yeah. also did Sin City. And these are very a big movie. Yeah, and yeah. they're very stylized movies. Mm -hmm. These ones, and I think Watchmen Two is mm -hmm. going to be a very stylized movie. There's a couple of them there, mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, while we're looking at these, do you ever get people who come in just independence, maybe a young young man or woman who's done a comic book and and they mm -hmm. want, um, you know, how would they go about getting it getting it published uh, or? Well, I'm not an expert that? in that thing, right. but we've had people uh, independent. Um, Local people bring mm -hmm. in their ha their homemade comic books, and oh, we have. Sold that's what them I was wondering store. about. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah sure. Oh, we've, okay. sold, we've sold, but it, it almost goes in in um, in waves too. Mm -hmm. You get a lot. Sometimes there's a, a a little community of people who are all into it, and then there are other times there's not. Um, I wanted to bring your attention to the Scott Pilgrim there oh, at yes, the end. It's me. a little shiny okay, story, but there we uh, are. It's okay. <laughs> this is a, a a book that's about to be made into a movie. Mm -hmm. It should be starting a, a production a little, this a year uh, in Toronto. Story. Uh, and it's wow. by Brian Lee O'Malley, who's actually from, uh, grew up in London, Ontario. Wow. And uh, he's now living in Toronto, and he's done uh, this comic, Scott Pilgrim, that's now being made into a movie. And it'll be starring um, Michael Seurat from Un Arrested Development. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, and I think the director is um, the one who did Shaun of the Dead, Edgar Wright, I believe. Mm. So, wow. Well, yeah, it, so it must be something for for writers and comic book artists to see their 
Oh, their work oh. come to the big screen. Oh, I think Must so. Be amazing. Oh, yeah. That, especially, especially for somebody like Brian Lee O'Malley, this is his main book. It must be really mm -hmm. exciting mm -hmm. for him to have that made into That's a fantastic. movie, especially a local boy. Mm -hmm. And what, how <laughs> exactly. do you decide what you're going to stock? I mean, you only have uh. so much room. Like, what, <laughs> what, what do you do? How do you decide? Well, you, you, you get a bit of, uh, you know, you get a lot of advertising, and that's, uh, you know, one thing, as mm -hmm. well as the buzz, right? People mm -hmm. are calling, do you have the Watchmen? Do you have this? Are you going to get the figures? And, mm -hmm. and you have to respond to what people mm -hmm. ask for. So, and then on the other times, you have to guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you ever guess wrong? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got bo boxes full of comics. Do you mind telling me what, what was one that you thought that, that maybe didn't do as well? Is there any off the top of your well, head? Well, I or? mean, even some of the comic movies, you know, they, they, you think, oh, they finally make it, and then mm -hmm. the movie doesn't do as well. Like, okay. you know, I wasn't crazy mm -hmm. about the Hulk movie that came right. out. So, you know, you don't want to overinvest in something like mm -hmm. that, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Well, this was great to have so you here. So fun having I, you here. I, oh, I know. I love learning about something yeah. that I have no idea about. Exactly. I, 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 exactly. You know, I, I love it. Uh, we need your um, location, please, and your 350, website. 350 Richmond Street mm -hmm. between King and York, and our website is uh, lamoodcomics.com. Thank you so much for coming in. It was fun. Thank you. Great to have you here. So Thank fun. you so Thank much. You. We'll be back with more daytime after this, but first let's take a look at what's happening off First Vocal with Rachel.